In your Capital Connection tonight, there are a few better ways to celebrate July 4th than by becoming an American citizen. That's right, and that's exactly what 75 people did today in Richmond. Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander has more. What a special day here at the Sorry, Virginia I Museum of History and Culture. Many of the new Americans I spoke to said it took months or years to fulfill the necessary requirements, but they say it was all worth it. <laughs> Seventy-five new Americans today from 36 different countries took the oath of allegiance to become American citizens. United States, to me, offered too much opportunity. It's great to be the, one of the biggest and greatest democracy in the world. Chief Justice Roger Gregory of the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals administered the oath. The Constitution and laws of the United States of America. Maria Sanchez is from Venezuela. It took her eight years to satisfy the necessary requirements to become a citizen. Today, I, be, I don't, I don't believe this moment. It's the most feeling, it's, in, it's very exciting. Tyrone Lewis has lived in the U.S. for 30 years after growing up in Jamaica. He says he's most looking forward to casting his ballot for the first time in November. It means a lot. That's a highlight, really to really vote to make that difference because that one vote makes a difference. And to me, that's very important. According to the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services, nearly one million new American citizens were naturalized last year, a 14-year high. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Englander.